I've never been very good at typing, which is surprising considering I type most days and I was taught how to do it properly at school, but I probably wasn't interested because, well, this is how I do it now. So age 40, after typing incorrectly for 30 years, I set myself a challenge to learn touch typing and double my typing speed in seven days. Here was my words per minute at the start using the way I typed all my life. 41 words a minute. And then I learned how to touch type and I got this result. Oh no! Seven words a minute. I set myself a goal of getting 80 words per minute with my new technique. It seemed like a lot to learn in just one week. So what is touch typing? It's a method of typing which doesn't rely on looking at the keyboard, except feeling or knowing where the keys are through proper finger placement, ideally using all fingers to type and it allows for accurate typing with fast speeds. I'd wanted to learn touch typing for years, but found little reason to do it because, well, I could already type, just not very well. Then I bought a stand-up desk, and now with my screen separate from my keyboard, I found it difficult to type, and I was having to look down at the keyboard to see what I was doing. I was also motivated to learn because I make so many mistakes, and I spend my life hitting the backspace button. And how cool would it be to be able to type as fast as I could think? What's your typing speed? Let me know in the comments. The first part of learning touch typing was finger placement. Putting my index fingers on the F and the J. Both these keys I've got little nobbles on. Then align the rest of my fingers across the middle row of the keyboard. Each finger can then move up or down accordingly. It takes so much concentration to just move my ring finger. It's only now that I'm learning how to touch type that I'm realising what a terrible typer I am. I've never used this right hand shift key and every time I want to press shift I'll use my index finger on the left shift and then use my right index finger to just press what I need to. I cannot believe how tired this is making me. I'm on 12 words a minute. So I've kind of doubled my speed at the end of day one. Doing this touch typing practice, it was kind of fun and it got addictive at times. 20 words a minute. But outside of practice and doing the normal stuff, it was so frustrating because I just wanted to go back to my default typing, which was quicker and took less concentration. Oh, it's so frustrating, it makes me feel sick. Just as soon as I think I've got it, I haven't got it at all. My right hand is so naughty. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that hand is driving me mad. To write U, I, O on my fingers. I feel like my brain is actually about to fall out of my head. Oh! How am I meant to do my speed typing? done five hours of practice today. I was hoping for more than this. 24. This new skill, it wasn't just a matter of me learning something new. This was me unlearning something that I'd done wrong for 30 years and then relearning. I was finding the finger placement tricky and I kept crossing my hands over the keyboard. Plus, I had been having a bit of wrist pain for some time. So I bought this fancy split ergonomic keyboard thingy this helps stop me from crossing my hands over and then pressing the right keys. Can't believe how hard it is and how much my brain is aching. As I'm doing this, I'm realizing that my fingers are pressing the keys without me thinking about it. It's really weird. And then I think about it and then I do it wrong. So at this stage, if you're thinking about learning touch typing or you wanna brush up on your skills and increase your typing speed, then I use these websites. 10 Fast Fingers is your words per minute typing test. Typing Study in Keybar uses typing drills. And Nitro Type has games. Don't even get me started on that website. It is so addictive. And then rather than just 2D stare at the screen typing tests, I wanted to learn the fundamentals about touch typing. So I use Skillshare. And if you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, it's an online learning platform with thousands of classes ranging from art, music to productivity. 
For this challenge, I watched the class by Ali Abdul, Triple Your Typing Speed, The Ultimate Guide to Keyboard Mastery. Ali is a YouTuber and he's got a typing speed of 156 words per minute. That's what dreams are made of. If like me, you wanna learn something new, then this is the best time to take advantage of Skillshare's best deal of the year. And it's 50% off their subscription. It's for a limited time only. So if you're interested, click the link in the description. Go forth and learn. You are not gonna believe what happened last night. I had a dream about typing. There were these massive giant keyboard keys in my dreams. <laughs> it will all be going so great. And then suddenly my brain and my fingers just stop working and I forget, I forget everything. The progress is slow, but the progress is there. Come on, LT. Go, go, go. Come on. Turn. Go. <laughs> 31. At this stage, I'd been practicing for a week, and on some days, for four hours, it was time to do my typing test. Would I get my goal? Come on, LT. Thirty-nine. I'm out. This was totally not the result that I was hoping for, but stick with the video because I've got something to show you in a minute. How was I expecting to relearn a new skill, something that I'd been doing wrong for 30 years and then get this miraculous result in just a week? Five months after doing the challenge, I've integrated my new touch typing skill into my everyday life. It can still be frustrating and I don't get it right all the time, but at least I'm no longer seven words a minute. And this is where I'm at now. I may not have got my original goal of 80 words per minute, but I am faster than what I was at the start. And this time I've got the right technique, make less mistakes and have less wrist pain. So I'm not sure about you, but I'm gonna call that a win. Is there something you've wanted to learn for a while? You just gotta go for it. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.